Hi, in this tutorial I'm going to demonstrate to you the edit wall tools. The edit wall tools are found in this uh, toolbar here, which is the edit toolbar. Here I have the edit function. If I select that, I can select edit wall. And in the edit wall, I can edit the walls with extend or shorten the wall, trim the wall, change the wall direction, split the wall, or edit the fixed wall intersection. First we'll extend or shorten a wall. As I move the cursor over, the wall turns green, and one end will have a, an arrow on it, which is the active end that I'm going to uh, shorten or lengthen. So if I click here, notice how the wall is now moved. I can do the same to this end. You can see the wall has got a, a, a point at which it's going to move to. And the wall has now changed its length. The next tool is the trim wall. The trim wall will allow me to select a wall and then move that wall to connect to an adjacent wall. So I first select the first wall and now I select the second wall and by doing so the first wall extends to meet the second wall. I can do the same here and that's now connected also. The next tool is change wall direction. This is meaningful when you have multi-layer walls where you have, for instance, an external side and an internal side to the wall and you may want to change the wall direction. So again the wall has turned green, click in it and the wall has changed its sides. Again here for an example and the wall direction has changed. The next tool is the split wall. If I want to take a single wall and then split it into two, I select the wall and you can see the line where the wall is going to split. Now if I move the cursor here, can now lengthen and shorten that wall at that point. The next tool is the edit wall intersection. You can see here some instructions for each step. First select the first wall, then select the second wall, then select the first wall. Do you want to remove the existing fixed wall intersection? You say yes and you'll find that that wall connection has now been broken. The final recap on wall editing is the use of Control w Remember, when placing a wall, if I use Control w I can define how that wall is placed, reference to its internal edge, its external edge, or its centre line. Repeated Control ws will actually switch between those particular reference points. That's all for walls. Thank you.